Hey everyone, it's Linda Medeiros with What's Linda Cooking? I'm a director with The Pampered Chef. I'm here today because uh, I made a roasted chicken the other night and uh, now I'm gonna make kind of a risotto, but I don't have a Boreo rice, so it's kind of like just chicken and rice with um, the original recipe has um, broccoli in it, but I actually have some fresh um, spinach, so I think I'm gonna put that. So it's gonna be a chicken, um, spinach, and, um, and cheddar kind of rice dish. So what I have here is just some onion. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of, oh, I don't know if you can see it. But um, we're gonna put this into my quick cooker. And I've done it on sear. And that's what I like about the quick cooker. I can put it on sear and just kind of let it go, okay? And I'm going to, I had a nice mix and scraper here. Got it right here. And we're just going to saute this just for a minute or so, okay? Then what we're gonna do, and by the way, I chopped up everything because, you know, we gotta chop up everything uh, with the food chopper. I love, love, love this. Um, and then we're going to, once that kind of starts sauteing, we're going to add a little bit of, um, of the chicken, well, not the chicken, the rice and the stock. And I have the stock right here in my Easy Read measuring cup. And then I also have some water in my prep bowl. So we're gonna add that. And then we're gonna add some Dijon mustard. And I have just a little bit of Dijon mustard, so not really enough. Um, so I'm gonna be putting in my Dijon rub too. And then one of the last things I've gotta put in there, we're gonna put some chicken, we're gonna put some, um, and I'll show you that at the end. Uh, we're gonna put some, what do you call it, and spinach in it. But we also need some cheese. So I've got my microplane adjustable grater here. I like getting cheese that is in a block. And that's because, uh, you know, I don't know if I need it shredded, and I don't know if I wanna eat it um, with cheese and crackers. So if I buy it in a block, then I know that, and I only need about a cup of this, um, and I think that's probably about good. If I want more later on, I can. And these just make quick work of just uh, shredding the cheese really, really nicely. So we've got that going. And so then at the end, you'll see how I'm gonna kind of make this a little bit creamy. It's supposed to take a lemon, but I don't have a lemon either, so we're not gonna do a lemon. So we're not gonna have that bright lemon kind of flavor in here. And that's okay with me because I'm not a huge, huge fan, believe it or not, of lemon, other than I do like lemonade. Um, so we're gonna saute this and just kind of move this around a little bit. And then I'm gonna add my rice. And I gotta be careful because I have a bay leaf in here and I don't want to get the bay leaf in. I store my rice with bay leaf because it keeps things away. Oop, so we've got that. And these are my little, um, these are silicone prep bowls with lids. I store all of my soups and stuff in them. Um, so if I have leftover soup and I wanna store it in the freezer, I have that. So I made my friend, some of you saw that I made my friend some vegetarian soup a while ago. And so, and then we just couldn't see each other um, and, cause she was sick and I can't be around people who are sick. So what we did, I put it in the freezer. So that's what I kind of have and I've been eating that. So now I'm going to add just a little bit of the water and the stock, just like this. There we go. And I'm gonna add the rest of this in there. Got my backside. There we go. Mix that up. And I think that's all that's going in there, believe it or not, right now. And oh, some garlic. How could I forget? Garlic. Hold on for a second. I mean, garlic is in everything I cook. So let me get my garlic for myself. When you're doing garlic, you want whitey tidy. Think of whitey tidy. You want the bulbs to be white, you want them to be tight. Um, and that's your best garlic. So I'm gonna take my garlic press, just put it in there, the garlic, there we go, um, the skin and all. And it comes with a self-storing cleaner. I lost mine eons ago. Um, and we do have replacement. Um, this little piece I'm actually gonna save because that's gonna go into my stock in a couple of days. I'm gonna be making some stock, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Depends on how much we have. 
that's left. Because, you know, I'm trying to um, eat all my leftovers too. So if I have chicken, I'm eating the chicken, leftovers, you know, all that. I find that I'm a little bit too close to the, um, to the uh, screen. So I'm sorry about that. So what we're gonna do, and on the quick cooker, this is my electric pressure cooker. I'm just gonna put this right on. Make sure this is lined up, hit cancel, and then I'm gonna put it on rice. And then this is going to cook. Um, once it comes up to pressure, it's going to cook for four minutes. And then I'm gonna put it on sear again and add in my cooked chicken and I'm gonna add in um, the spinach. And then cook that down and it's, it's gonna be, oh, and add some cream cheese. And that's gonna kinda make it creamy. So you'll see that in a minute, okay. Okay, everybody, my phone is ringing, but I'm just gonna go with this. Um, we've got some cream cheese in here. We've got the, um, the rice going. So we are just going to then add in, and I've got the chicken in there too. Um, so I'm going to add in my spinach, and I have my spinach right here, and we're going to add that in, and I'm going to let that wilt, if I get that stray one in, let's see, we're going to get that stray one in, and I'm just going to kind of let that wilt a little bit, okay, and that should take just a couple of minutes to wilt down, and everything, see it's not as creamy as a regular risotto because I didn't use Oborio rice. But remember, we, you know, I'm trying to limit my time, as you guys are, going to the supermarket. Um, and like I said, I have the spinach, so we're just adding the spinach to this. Now, my last thing I'm going to add is I am going to add some cheese that I have already done. And so we're going to add that, and I may need I don't know, a little bit more, because if it's not cheesy enough, I may add a little bit more. And this is going to make some cheesy goodness, and then I'm going to add some salt and pepper and stuff like that, just to kind of season it up. And I might add, because I forgot my Dijon mustard, but I, I stopped it, and I added Dijon, and then I, oh, we got a little cream cheese in there, still. But look at how nice this is looking, and it's nice and creamy, okay? So this is my cheddar, spinach, rice with chicken. And this is what's gonna be for dinner tonight. And um, so what are you guys having? And this is from the leftover roasted chicken that I made. And I will uh, take a picture of the finished product and I will also post it. So the, this is Linda Medeiros with What's Linda Cooking. Bye for now.